Laura from Laura's Adventures in Bookland, and this is going to be my bookshelf tour uh, because I reached 50 subscribers. Um, I think I'm at like 63 or something like that right now. But um, yeah, I'm going to show you this big bookshelf over here, and then I also have a little bookshelf right here that I'm going to show you. And then I have some more um, books out in the living room. I'll show you those too. It's going to be either two or three parts. I'm not really sure yet. I'll just have to see how long it ends up being. Um, but yeah, so thank you to all my new subscribers, and I'll show you, um, this big bookshelf first. Okay, so this is my big bookshelf. It's actually two bookshelves combined, but, um, I just reorganized it so that it acts like one big bookshelf, and it just goes straight across and then down and straight across. Uh, it actually, it has two rows, and these little four or five right here have two rows, so I will go through and I'll show you all the back row. I'll take all that front row out and then I'll put the front row back in and show you all those because it is alphabetical by author's last name. And we'll just start up here with the top books first. Okay, so this is the top row. This has um, big books or like the big book collection over here and box sets. Now, this first box set is The Lovely Bones and The Looking Glass by Alice Siebold. Um, this, The Looking Glass is really just a special edition of The Lovely Bones. It's got loose leaf paper that it's not a different story. We have Scary Stories, the complete three book collection, which has Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark, more Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark, and Scary Stories 3, More Tales to Chill Your Bones. We have the first three books in the Blue Bloods series by Melissa De La Cruz, which has Blue Bloods, Masquerade, and Revelations. Then we have the um, A Series of Unfortunate Events by Lemony Snicket. We have um, one box set right here, another box set right there, and then the last two, I'm missing number 10 and 11. So we have The Bad Beginning, The Reptile Room, The Wide Window, The Miserable Mill, The Austere Academy, The Urshatz Elevator, The Vile Village, The Hostile Hospital, The Carnivorous Carnival, The Penultimate Peril, and The End. And then here is The Beatrice Letters, which is a companion book to that. Um, and then right here we have Janet Ivanovich's Stephanie Plum series. We have three plums in one, which has one, two, and three in it. More plums in one, which has four, five, and six. Lean Mean 13, Fearless 14, Finger Lickin' 15, Sizzling 16, and Smokin' 17. And then we have Grimm's Complete Fairy Tales and The Best of Lewis Carroll, which has um, Alice in Wonderland Through the Looking Glass, The Hunting of the Snark, A Tangled Tale, Whatever that big old long word is right there. And then nonsense from letters. And then we have all of our my um, extra bookmarks and stuff are just right there. And now we'll go on and I will show you the bookshelf. Okay, here is the first shelf. And hopefully there's enough light over here. We have Enclave by Anne Aguirre. Zudo, The Adventures of a Computer Virus by Udi Aharoni. That was a really cute middle grade um, read. Catalyst and Speak by Lori Health Anderson. Loved this book. I think I'm going to have to reread this so I can post a review on the blog. That was one of my favorites of last year. 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher. I also need to reread this and post so I can post a review on it. The Future of Us by Jay Ashler and Jay Asher and Karen Mackler. Everneath by Brody Ashton. Emma by Jane Austen. This is a um, Penguin Threads edition. Jane Austen Pride and Prejudice. Frost by Marianna Bear. Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo. Thirteen and a Half by Nevada Barr. The Wonderful Wizard of Oz by L. Frank Baum. Alice I Have Been by Melanie Benjamin. And then on to this next side. This right here, this is my tablet. And then the next two books that are on my TBR for the month. So we have Red Riding Hood and then Sweetly by Jackson, Fra uh, Jackson Pierce. <laughs> and then we've got Anna Dressed in Blood by Kendra Blake. 
and Girl of Nightmares by Kinder Blake. Loved Anna Dressed in Blood. A Great and Terrible Beauty by Little Bray. Unspoken by Sarah Reese Brennan. Shadowlands by Kate Bryan. Love, love, love that book. I just posted a review on it last week. You should definitely go check that out. The Illustrated Jane Eyre by uh, Charlotte Bronte. Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. Lies Beneath by Anne Greenwood Brown. Eve by Anna Carey. Alice in Wonderland. This is actually by T.T. Sutherland. Sutherland. It was written based on the movie with Johnny Depp in it, but I put it up here with Lewis Carroll because obviously it's based on his story. And then Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass by Lewis Carroll. High Society by Ali Carter. And The Selection by Kara Cass. Now on to this next row. We have Very La Freak by Rachel Cohn. Dash and Lily's Book of Dares and Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist by Rachel Cohn and David Levithan. The Wishing or The Land of Stories, The Wishing Spell by Chris Colfer. The Matched and Crossed by Ali Condi. Tempest by Julie Cross. Deadline by Chris Crutcher. And then here is my little Roald doll collection. I'm trying to find all of them with these um, these covers. We have Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Charlie and the Great Glass Elevator, Danny the Champion of the World, the BFG, which is one of my number one favorite um, uh, like the kids read, Matilda, the Giraffe and the Pelly and Me. That was a really cute story. I like that one. George's Marvelous Medicine, and The Twits. I really like that one, too. And then we have A Beautiful Dark by Jocelyn Davies. Then on to the next shelf, we have Wither and A Fever by Lauren Stefano. Love these books. They were both favorites of last year. A Tale of Two Cities and Great Expectations by Charles Dickens. Entwined by Heather Dixon. Wild Thorn by Jane Eagland. Perfect Chemistry by Simone Elkalez. Carrier of the Mark by Lee Fallon. Shades of Grey by Jasper Ford. The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. Destiny Rewritten by Catherine Fitzmaurice. And then we have Hush Hush and Crescendo by Becca Fitzpatrick. Then on to the next shelf. We have A Kiss in Time by Alex Flynn. And Beastly by Alex Flynn. If I Stay and Where She Went... By Gil Foreman. This is the graphic novel of Coraline. And then we have the actual novel of Coraline by Neil Gaiman. Beautiful Creatures by Kimmy Garcia and Margaret Stoll. Abraham Lincoln, Vampire Hunter by Seth Graham Smith. Evernight by Claudia Gray. And then my little um, John Green collection. I have Paper Towns. Looking for Alaska. Loved that book. An Abundance of Catherines. And then we have Will Grayson, Will Grayson, which is by John Green and David Levithan. Mask of the Red Death by Bethany Griffin. And then we have Deadly Cool and Social Suicide by Jim Holiday. <laughs> 